we've got all these grassy areas over here and I mow them a whole lot. So every day I think I'm gonna let Buttercup out over here. Ah, out of the peach tree. Unless she promises, she's just real excited right now. I'm like, don't eat the peach trees and you can hang out here. I'll probably have to watch her. This is my leftover mess from making these boxes and lining around the, uh, the condenser. I'm not gonna take you away from your grass. So made that box. I gotta clean up in here. Look at her, she's so excited. She's just running around. <laughs> All right, don't eat the raspberry bushes either. Hey, right. hey. Right. So what might have to happen is I might have to tether her so she's not all over eating the apple trees and the raspberries. And I got blueberries in here, but grass has grown up while we were gone in vacation. So I gotta come in here and weed around them a little bit, but I think they'll do fine. The raspberries over here are already spreading. The sucker here has grown out over from the side. They also need pruned, looks like. Cut off that dead growth from last year. Oh, weed vine growing up in there, a little morning glory. Yeah, got some work to do. How's that grass? Is it making you so happy? You're the best little mower ever. Perfect height. We are down here at Geneva Rock. This is the uh, chip slash pea gravel that Jamie has selected and we're gonna put this all in between those raised beds that we built up we're not allowed to get out of the truck because this is considered an open pit mine so we got to stay in here and just wait for him to come load us that's a big tractor every time I come here I feel like they're gonna break my truck and my trailer because that bucket can handle about twice what my trailer can handle. Maybe more. <laughs> can you get in like one scoop, please? Yep, one scoop. Pulled him about five tons, held up our little sign. All right, filming the rear view, it feels like a weird angle, but since I got the camera mirror, we're gonna take advantage of that. <laughs> he filled it up with gravel. That's pretty heavy low, about five tons worth. That's pretty much maxing out my little dump trailer. It's only 12 by six bed on that. My biggest pet peeve in the world is when people don't tarp their loads. Always tarp your load. I have had- How windshields have we had break? Um, I have had two windshields cracked by irresponsible rock haulers and they were very expensive windshields. One in the Mercedes and one in the Jeep. They were each well over $2,000. So tarp your load. Do it. <laughs> Alright, so we got a lot of gravel, but the weeds have popped up. So we're going to get what we can see and then we'll put some pre-emergent down. And the boys are going to come behind and pick all these up. It looks like a lot, but with the hula ho and the ground's a little wet, it'll go pretty quick. And they're just filtering through, getting all the stuff. We're gonna feed this all to the chickens. They love the weeds. They kick them all over the place and it helps their diet quite a bit. Jack, is that a gravel bed? How comfy is that? It's so comfy. <laughs> He's over here laying on the gravel. We pretty much have all the weeds out. So quick little weedless tour. You know, I've got most of the weeds out of here. We're gonna come run some gravel through the middle so that we can control the weeds a little better. I'm not gonna put any fabric down. I, I don't like fabric. I think it's a mess. I think the weeds just get on top of it. They, the seeds blow in and then you got seeds on top of the gravel and the weed barrier stuff. So we're gonna come out here and we're gonna just put gravel in. I'll weed it as it comes up because we will have some weeds come up through it. But we just weeded this whole garden minus the beds because they don't have weeds. They're pretty clean topsoil. And it, what was it? Two hours, Jack? You think two hours? Two and a half hours. We weeded this whole thing took a bunch of weeds over to the chickens. They are loving it. Fed some weeds to Buttercup. Uh, got some of the yard cleaned up over here. We got a lot more work to do over there still. Grass is starting to grow in over where we dug the trench for the water line, the new sprinklers. But you know, we got all kinds of fun little plants popping up, little hills with squash. 
and got to transplant some of these. These are uh, plum trees, little plum trees. There's a rose bush that's going to get transplanted. And then I don't know how I'm, I want to move this bush because it's uh, antique. It's been here a long time, been trimmed back numerous times. I think I'm going to trim all this stuff on top that's dead pretty far back down as far as I can get it to the base of the plant and then see if I can scoop this whole thing up and find a new home for it. But yeah, garden's looking good. Let me, let me walk back here and give you a less crazy view so that you can just kind of see vision we're gonna start moving gravel in maybe this evening sun's going down it's perfect time to be doing the sweaty moving gravel work there we are you know there's there's 12 or 8 weeds left in here but looking good chickens are over here loving all of the greens and the weeds they will pick all through that and mulch it up for me real nice <music> what happens when you watch too much TV and you need to come have some uh, reset time with dad, huh? <laughs> We've got some leftover gravel from the garden and so we are getting all the weeds out of this driveway. I've been using the box blade to mostly just scrape them and uh, it's doing pretty good. We're trying to get what we can out of the gravel and I'm ready to smooth this out about pretty close. I think we're gonna need more gravel. Maybe. I cut a line right down here in the grass and uh, I got to go hula ho down there still because the tractor just keeps uh, mushing them. It doesn't, it's not cutting those ones. This concrete here, so we're in the front of the shop if you're wondering where we're at doing some landscaping on this. This, this concrete here is pretty chipped up and lots of ice and frozen situation. Oh, you're going to have to compact that. <laughs> So we're gonna try to clean this off. This concrete's a little better over here. It's just got so much pine needles and dust blown over here that it's growing weeds up through it. So we gotta clear that out and then pick up our mess here finally. I've got this big cedar burl down here. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. All right, we're making progress. Jamie's got a lot of this cleared out and swept up. We've got a little pile of stuff we're gonna keep and stuff that needs to get rid of. The bricks we're saving, obviously, but some of this stuff's just gonna go because it's been sitting out here in the weather and it's, it's just old. Like this table is MDF, but I might keep the legs on it. My grass is coming in pretty good. The yard is looking significantly better. This should fill in within the next Oh, probably month. I'll reseed it, but got it all mowed up. Got the driveway fixed up over there. A lot of that has been cleaned up. I still need to get the barn cleaned out and make a place for my tractor in there. I had my tractor in there. Oh, look at these. The weed whacker did not get these. Oh, one came up by the root. Nope, they'll be back. But this was the uh, the big job yesterday we got the driveway all lined out kind of straightened this line up still got some weeds to pull right there much better over here neater cleaner looks like an actual business instead of a place where i just drop all my junk jack so neatly stacked these bricks but we are going to actually move quite a few of them to the backyard we're going to use them there in the garden so i'm just going to move all of them so that i can park my trailer right up here I need to get the pressure washer out and clean this off a little better but probably another day we're going to call that a load let's see if this little tractor will lift it problem so we're getting these stacked up right here this is going to be momentary i just wanted them on the concrete so if i didn't get to them right away they weren't killing the grass or in the way of me moving gravel over here because i still gotta put a gravel all along this fence line how's the gravel on those bare feet 
Does it feel nice and cool? Already weeds. I know, we're gonna have to chase some weeds. It'll be all right. So we've got tomato cages. These are big beefy tomato cages for how tiny our tomatoes are. I don't this tomato or tree. Um, not a tree. The tomatoes are like evenly spaced. Like this right here is not in line because I just moved it. The tomato? Yeah, I just pulled it out of the ground and moved it because there were too many in one hole. Well, someone came and stepped over here. I don't know what happened there. Like my know. tomatoes are all caved in. It'll be all right, they'll grow. I thought that you'd probably use the tractor. No, I'm not bringing the tractor right here. This is fine, it's not a very big hole. So Zeb is finally getting our fig tree in. We heard that they can survive if you cover them for the winter. So apparently we're gonna put a blanket on it or something. It might not get very big, which is actually okay with me. I don't want a huge plant here. Pruning it and keeping it pretty small, kind of like the apple trees over here. So it's not ever gonna throw a ton of shade. And then we'll just put a sheet on it for the winter. Never done that, but all right. It was the first time for everything. You know what Zeb's gonna do with that bucket? It's gonna go over there and he's gonna put a little tree in it, I'm sure. Yep, it's already got a, got a tree planned for it. Well, she's going in. Is that center? <laughs> oh, that is a good question. Here, I need you right there, it. when you hold it straight up, it's center. Okay. Um. I think it needs to go to the left like an inch. So I like to grow sunflowers at the edge of my garden. So I'm putting in a row all the way across and I'm probably actually gonna come in in a couple weeks and plant a second row or maybe three weeks because they don't last forever. But if you plant them kind of staggered, then you can always have sunflowers. You can cut the ones down, new ones come back up. So we're trying to decide if we wanna do concave up or flat side. I think concave is cooler. I think it looks cool and we got the hose right there if they get dirty or dusty. You're doing a very great job. Well, I'm gonna have to bring my circle out a little, I think, to fit these in. And then I'm gonna fill gravel in and we'll do another row. If anybody's wondering what I'm doing while he's being filmed, I am weeding. That area over there, it's not as bad as it was when we bought the property. But every year I have to go out and get more weeds. I don't like to use weed killer back here because we have our animals in our garden. So that means I have to pick them by hand. But once he trims this tree, all the dead stuff off, then we'll plant that with marigolds. And if we plant marigolds and cosmos there, we'll never have to plant again. It'll be done. That looks circular to me. Circular enough? Circular. I'm not a perfectionist, so I don't know if you know that about like me. This side needs to come out just a hair. A little. Looks like a little sunshine. Okay. We're getting the second row put in. If we have enough, we'll do a border the opposite direction all the way around. I think it's gonna look good. Emphasis on if we have enough. And it cost us zero dollars because we had all these bricks. These are actually from our house. We um, saved a few. Yeah, this is a pile from oh, yeah. that we had on the back porch. And we saved them forever to do something and never did. And we moved them over here and now we're using them for this. We actually had way more bricks, but we gave, we, we gave them away just because there were just too many. To and the point where you just can't store all the things. Well, and the other thing too is like, it's not just storing them. It's every, we had to move them all the time. Yeah. So it, now we're using some of them. So at least we're making, this is like legit the first project that we've really done with them. Yeah. In four years. So. It was time. So that's looking pretty good. The far back view, it actually looks like something. Once I get that chip gravel in there, this is actually chip gravel, it's smaller than pea gravel. Um, I think it'll be pretty good. And then now y'all, you can just turn all my finials for the box. Oh yeah, I forgot about that part. <laughs> yes. So treat it just like sand. I do want to keep just dirt in the middle so that I can fertilize the tree.
got the fig tree planted once this all grows in and we finish cleaning up back here it might look halfway decent still got to trim the walnut tree in the back I'm almost done trimming that walnut tree, but a big branch fell over there into the chicken coop. And I drug it over here because I bet you all these chickens are gonna come roost in this tonight and hang out in it and love this. Walnut tree is looking a lot healthier. Tons of walnuts on it this year, so we're gonna keep watering it. Come winter when all the leaves fall off, I'll give it another treatment for beetles, see if that helps. But for now, I'm pretty happy with how it was because it was looking like we were going to have to cut it down last year because it was getting so bad. Next on the list is to clean up all of this, plant this planter, clean up my mess over here, do something with this pew so it looks cool out here. I think we're just going to leave it outside right up against this wall somewhere. Find a place for my mower in the garage and we've got to come over here and finish weeding out these berries. I think we're going to sell this camper so that it's not here because it's a great camper. Everything works good on it, but it's kind of not very pretty to look at sitting here in the driveway and we're really going for fun aesthetic destination look at the shop trying to get that going this year these are doing really well these uh, these are raspberries I've got four blueberry bushes hiding over in here in the grass gonna get that fixed up look at this look what happened I put this down there in the ground I thought it was dead look what's shooting up so I'm gonna trim this top off since I know it's coming down from the roots and uh, we'll establish that again we've got these other blackberries here that are doing well they're starting to blossom out should have blackberries soon just got to finish cleaning up from my irrigation mess that I did everything in the garden is doing really well these are pumpkins this is radishes and what else do we have here? I can't ever remember. Beets. I don't know. You missed a row. I don't think so. Everything's looking great, these right? That's radishes. French, you, they French. get so they get real round if you leave them. Those are no, going to be French breakfast radishes. They're like oh, so do we just they're going to be done? Are you going to have to replant those then? Yeah, look at this. Ah, uh, looks like they're a little bigger than what you're holding. Yeah, but I'm just saying they're long and skinny. They don't get around. So I'd give them close. probably uh, another uh, week or two, and then we can start eating those for breakfast. But I'm wondering if we should, like, thin the beets out and just move them down. But there's still some things growing. Like, those are beets. They're just not as big over there. I don't know what happened because they're getting the same amount of water. This whole thing gets watered. Cucumbers are looking good. And then we've got lettuce. Tomatoes. Honestly, we're going to have to go get some tomato plants because these ones here... These little tomatoes, they get shade in the morning, but not that much shade, only for like a couple hours, and then they've got full sun most of the day. But I don't know what's happening here. The weeds flowers. have blown in because we've had a lot of windstorms, and they're doing way better than these tomatoes. We're gonna have to go break down and get some plants so we can have tomatoes before September. I'm not sure what happened here, but I don't think there's anything in that little furrow either. We got there's no package. Yellow squash over there. No package here. I think I told a kid to plant this and it didn't get planted. So we got to put something in there that's going to grow you know quick. What we need to do is we need to take that yellow squash and move it. Give it more space and then plant something. Yeah, probably. Lots of work left to do still, which is part of the fun of having a garden. I feel like it's a continual thing all summer and then you spend a month in the spring cleaning up and prepping for it which we have been doing. We've got a few more things to plant and button up, but overall pretty happy with where we're at. On the next episode, you're gonna see us plant some plants from the nursery because I'm a little frustrated with some of my smaller plants. Um, and then we're just gonna be working on the rest of this backyard. Also, we haven't forgotten, be sure to follow along. The cottage is the next project. So we got a couple little things to button up in the yard here maybe half a day of weeding and things. I'm not gonna try to bore you to death with all the weeding, but we'll show you what it looks like when we're done and plant some roses out front. But the cottage is coming, so stay tuned for that.